Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, I'm very excited to share with everyone some new business ventures that I have been undertaking and getting more proficient in knowing the means and know-how behind to be able to implement and move forward. So I want to thank you all for bearing with me. I know I maybe not have been the most easily accessible in the last several months. Um, I've been going through a lot of personal growth and development and just working on myself and um, working on creative ideas to share with all of you. So I am very excited to share one that I'm going to be working on co-currently while I'm going to be in my online school for data analytics. What I'm looking to create and starting to get into the process of is creating an application that is going to be able to read in a lot of data. It's going to be working a lot with just the entire existence of the Internet of Things and being able to read in data and have that data put into the app where the app is going to be performing algorithms that are designed by insurance companies to then output the risk that people undertake in their day-to-day -day lives for the cost of the healthcare associated minus the carbon footprint output that people are generating to the environment. So this is kind of a two-fold app. What I would like to see happen is basically starting a new form of a banking system where we have all these buy-ins investors from these insurance companies, healthcare providers, and uh, environmental groups, clean, clean energy uh, initiatives, all of that, that are going to devote to this bucket and the bucket is going to be a piggy bank for the people that use this app to track their day-to-day -day habits, their living, their eating, their driving, their carbon footprint, and their proactive approach to healthcare in mitigating issues for down the line. So what we're looking at really is for people to sign up with this app and then to be able to allow the app to take in all their data, everything that's coming in from the internet, things I'm talking even from insurance carriers looking at, uh, cameras out on the roads, running radar on your car, everything, taking in just everything to give a good assessment about an individual's uh, auto insurance rates and hazards, health insurance, and life insurance. So those things coming together, I want to see where these companies can perform an algorithm with the data that's given to them by the user for the app and that's generated already in the collection and harvesting of big data. And then be able to have an output where a person is paid and it's a generation of saying, how much did your individual input towards your health generate an output to preventing further health care costs down the road? And what did that do for your overall risk in your health, uh, overall health for your insurance carrier? So say you went to the gym one day, I checked into the gym. That is going to be a dollar earned for the individual for the day because they're having a proactive living approach to mitigating health costs down the road. So a dollar paid for the individual because they checked in at their gym. So this app is going to be able to integrate with gyms, my fitness pal, uh, just all of the health related fitness apps and utilities that are already out there in institutions. So you get a dollar for checking in, but now you typically work from home, but today instead you drove to do an extra chore or errand while you were in the middle of your workday. So that's going to ding you 50 cents because what we're going to also do is just like Uber Lyft would track a person's mileage and their uh, gas spending. We're going to be having the same thing with this app as well. It's going to be tracking your carbon footprint by the mileage that you drive in any sort of given day, if you're taking a road trip, the type of vehicle that you're having, are you doing any sort of ride sharing? It's gonna track all of that. So it's gonna be like the app Mile IQ, if you've heard of it, I've used it at work before. So it just, it tracks your overall input for your spending for your gas, and then how much you're driving for uh, work-related reasons or personal use. So 50 cents off for the driving, but a dollar in for being able to go to the gym that day. So we're taking the healthcare benefit, that $1 added, and we're minusing then the carbon footprint um, consideration for the driving, docking that by 50 cents. So what we're looking at is that person earned 50 cents from the day from this big pot that everyone has contributed to 
to create this sort of banking system and that person gets 50 cents for the day. And now this money that comes in, the people that are going to be able to take out this money and eventually get it into your personal accounts and use it for whatever spending you want, there's not going to be any taxes on this for you earning money from this. So you can go 365 days, you earn that 50 cents and you're going to earn what, a little over $150 by the end of the year just by going to the gym and having a very light driving regimen, just poof, out of nowhere. And it's not going to be taxed because all this money that's going to be generated and put into the bank is going to be affiliated with going to the Department of Energy and the US EPA. So what I like to see is I like to see uh, where my partnership, my um, my pledge to uh, Energy Star, the Energy Star partnership to be able to live a healthy living and a reflection of what is going to be in the best interest for the EPA and for the Department of Energy. I want to associate this in there and take it to a pretty broad scale where other people are motivated to live the same exact way. Now, another example of this will be utility spending. So we can now track a person's month-to-month -month utility bill and equate that to how much energy are they using and for what type of productive output are they getting for their health and wellness. So if you're running your lights all day every day, having all your TVs going, you have multiple TVs in your home, and it's just you living there, well, that's going to track down your carbon footprint cost a lot in the meaning that it's going to be costing you more to be having that. So now instead of making any money for the day, now you're going to be stuck at zero because your carbon footprint just kept you below this at least baseline because it was so much of an output for not really much of a gain back. Now, if you're doing something where you're hosting a fitness class and you're generating that sort of a, a energy output, but you're also contributing to healthy living, well, then we're going to be looking at more of a, um, a steady baseline there. So you're not necessarily gaining or losing, but then you can be taking on things like having a LEED certified building, so that's leadership and energy and environmental design, smart buildings that are accommodating to energy in outputs and inputs and just having less waste uh, as a result of the design and structure of the building. It's kind of smart in a way, set up that way, that it's going to be having less energy output uh, that's wasted from the input that it's trying to create to sustain its internal environment. So um, looking at something like that, if you have a gym that's a green building, it has solar panels, it has all these green contributions to it, and it has then cleaner energy going into it, and you're providing a health and wellness service that's measurable to you know each of these people that are coming into your facility, then overall you're going to be having a, big, a bigger payout for the day because you had a less carbon footprint and you're generating more to health and wellness. So if you really think about this in terms as we people are only as healthy as our environment is and we're concerned about climate change and seeing all of these once in a lifetime, once in a century sorts of storms out there and having people living through these things, having their homes destroyed in these fires and unreliable utility, everyone in Texas almost freezing a couple of years ago for their grids, lack of reliability and a severe cold snap. I think we can really say that if we're looking at a priority of all of our own health and wellness and consider that health and wellness to be in part an extension to the environment that we live in, this is really a no-brainer application that we could all be using one day that's going to be generating free money for the individuals for just having a better standard of living, holding yourself and helping hold others hopefully to a bigger accountability by being paid, by having a tangible output for just doing the things that you know you should do, doing the things your mother says, you know, make sure you're cleaning your room, make sure that you're washing your dishes and putting your laundry, you know, just doing the basics, doing your chores, taking care of your health and wellness, getting a primary care visit in once a year and having regular follow-ups with your doctors, prescriptions, all those things, all those are going to contribute to your own app, to your own metric of your health and wellness to show how proactive you are in avoiding more escalating costs in services and procedures and doctor visits down the road by being ahead of it now. Are you brushing your teeth? Do you go to the dentist? All those things. Do you account for how all the little contributions that you can make in a day will add up to having a lesser significant cost to your health and wellness in the future? You can see where you're going to be having a health insurance company really be interested in investing in this program because it's going to be costing everyone less money at the end of the day. What's really going to happen is less money is going to be pumped into taxes overall. It's going to be more dedicated to the Energy Star partnership to be able to go to the Department of Energy and to the EPA. And you're going to be healthier as a result as because of it. So what else can you ask for for that for then a healthier living as a direct result of just 
doing these little chore things in your day to day and be more mindful about the energy that you're consuming and maybe exhausting that you don't have to be. So I'm going to be working on this app very excitedly and very hopeful that this will be kicking off the ground running and really be, um, you know, just a, a, a great tool for everyone that has access to a smartphone to be able to utilize, like I said, for things that data harvesting, data collection that's used every day, the whole integration of the Internet of Things and our day to day, all of it's going to be generated and going through this app. It's all the information's out there anyways. All the resources are there. We might as well be getting some sort of benefit from it that's tangible and that we're getting paid out on, almost paying ourselves forward to pay it forward for tomorrow to Make sure that we're, you know, being mindful of the, the health and the, the carbon footprint that we're giving to the world and, um, you know, a reflection of, you know, what's that doing for ourselves at the end of the day. Um, so I would encourage you to send me any comments, messages, anything at all. I would love to hear from each and every one of you, your impressions on this application idea, even if you think that it's not going to work if it's going to be if whatever. Um, I still want to hear from you. Like I said, I'm pretty hopeful in this taking off the ground and um, becoming really useful for everyone. I mean, if there's an app out there that you can generate just a few hundred dollars, say it's in a year, maybe it's a several thousand. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how much the payouts will end up being able to be once this is really in mainstream. But say you could just be having an automatic $150 to your name every year just for healthy, living a healthy lifestyle. And you know that you're a healthier person overall. You're probably feeling better. You can't put a price on feeling better. And you're probably having less spending because of your lesser emissions costs and more mindfulness to your carbon footprint output. So $150, you're a better person at the end of the day, better form of yourself. And that's all you got to do is just, just take care of your day-to-day -day living in $150. Maybe it's $15,000 because you're such a superstar and I've been involved in the program for so long. I don't know, but I don't see why not everyone would benefit from this. It's uh, basically a free bank making people the utility for being a healthier version of ourselves for our internal bodies, our environments, and also our external. So um, like I said, I'll be taking questions. I'll be taking comments. I'll be taking anything that you have for me as far as input advice. I would love to hear from you about this. I'm very excited to be taking my studies into this sort of a form where I'm able to generate a product that is going to be really usable by everyone and is going to be a great reflection of just really a lot of my interests and in life experience. So Again, I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this application I'm working on. I'll be posting about it uh, all the while on andrewkeekafer.com, which I apologize. That website has not been touched in such a long time. I'm just starting to get back into it in these past couple weeks and getting it more up-to-date and more functional. If you want to go on there and check out more about what I've been doing and have any comments on what to add, I would love to also hear from you on there. And... Yeah, just, um, you know, I'm always open for feedback and I'm always looking to learn and grow and just be the best and better version of myself that I can be every day. So uh, no one's perfect. I got to say, I feel like I slipped away from the world for a few months here, just working on myself and uh, just trying to get some of these ideas that I've had um, just out of my head and in a way that I can start to see the creation come to life. And I just want to thank you all for listening to me. And that's, that's really it. Um, that's really it. Um, yeah, just, I hope that you can tell me candidly and honestly, what you would like to see in this app beyond what I've already shared. Some of the pitfalls that maybe I'm not thinking about and if you want to be on board with this project, I mean, if you're somebody that is great in writing and uh, grant writing and proposal writing and um, anything like that, I could use your help. Um, really looking to have solid proposals for some of these companies that would be some of the shareholders buying into creating this program to begin with. So uh, please let me know. Um, otherwise, that's it. Um, just so you know, my phone number is 1414, excuse me, it used to be 1414. It is now, it has been for some time now, 
422-4888. Again, that's 1-262-422-4888. My name is Andrew Kikafer. I want to thank you for listening to me here today. And I'm looking forward to bringing you more content and being a lot more interactive on my website and just um, with everybody that's in my life in the future going forward. So um, thank you so much and have a great day.